Hi, this is Carlton Smith, and today I'm with Mary Ann Woods Murphy, who is a member of Central Unitarian Church for 20 years yes. now, and also New Jersey State Teacher of the Year for 2009-2010. Mary Ann, how did you come to be State Teacher of the Year for New Jersey? Congratulations, Thank by you the way. very much. Last April, I got a tremendous surprise when I found out that my building, my colleagues in the building, and parents and administrators had selected me to be the Teacher of the Year in, the, in my school, and at that point I had the opportunity to write a series of essays, 16 pages of essays, which I sent to the county level, uh -huh. and I was chosen from among county um, teachers, and at that point I was able to make a video of my classroom teaching. And that was exciting and challenging and wonderful. And then I was chosen to be interviewed by a series of stakeholders at the uh, New Jersey Education Association office. And I was then chosen to be the New Jersey State Teacher of the Year. Wow. Wonderful. It's just amazing. It's a long process. It went from April to uh, October. Yeah, but, but you didn't come into teaching to become State Teacher no, of the I, Year. No, this what, was what a total you, shock to what me. What drew you into teaching? I wanted to share my, my love of language and culture. I had mm. lived in Spain for four years with my husband Joe and it had been my world and I'm a bicultural and bilingual person and I know that other people can be this person too they can all learn languages and I'm really excited about sharing it with them it's a thrill for me I see and and what has life been like for you since you became teacher of the year I would say hectic hectic and uh -huh. it's a huge learning curve I've all of a sudden gone from being in my classroom to being a keynote presenter at a variety of conferences um, these are things that I have I haven't typically had a chance to do in my career. Uh, it's interesting. I've always been the kind of person to say, give me a mic, give me a mic. And now I have one, and it's fun. Uh -huh. I like it. I like it. It's okay. exciting. Uh -huh. You've had a chance to talk to lots of people, including state teachers from other states. Yes. As well. yeah. I just came back from a conference in Dallas, Texas, where I met all of the state teachers in U.S. territories. We became a cohort. They call us the 2010 State Teachers of the Year. And we are working together. I created something called a name where we collaborate and we share ideas um, pretty so much on a daily nice basis. Too, there. Yeah, I, I created this thing. I, it's sort of shocking to me that I am that person who created this site. I, I would never have predicted this a year ago. Wow. So it's exciting. And we upload our pictures and we have a video of all the state teachers. It's really fun. Well, and what, do you, what do you see as being common amongst all of you as state teachers? Every single one of us believes that children can and will learn. They, we believe that it's up to us, that we're, we're in a room with a particular child, no matter what the difficulties are, we have to figure out either how to solve that problem for this year or reach out to resources that will help solve that problem, will help that child succeed. We believe in that. Every single teacher did mm -hmm. and does. Now, Mary Ann, you have a particular uh, theme that you have for this year as well. Could you tell us a bit about that? Well, my theme is global communication across cultural and linguistic barriers. When I was 22 years old, I moved to Spain and lived there for four years with my husband, Joe. And I had to learn how to become part of a new culture and learn a new language. Well, this experience taught me how to open the doors to other people to become kind of cultural ambassadors in their own right. And it's thrilling for me to see this happening in the classroom, not only in the language class, but across the curriculum. So I'll be speaking to that issue, global awareness, and anti-stereotyping, diversity education, this is all very passionate for me. So global communication across cultural and linguistic barriers. Wow, and you've already been working at that for you know, many years now. Many I know years. that you're the one who helped to get the Teens Talk About Racism yes. program going very strong here at Central yes. Unitarian Church in Bergen County. I've been directing it that. for 10 years. We bring together uh, about 180 students from 10 area schools in a safe forum to talk about race. We, our motto frequently is break down the walls, be the change you want to see. It's so exciting to see what students can get from just a day. It lifts them up as social justice change agents, and they go and they change the world. Mm -hmm. and, and that's been because of the support of the Central Unitarian Church. That's awesome. And, and how would you say your Unitarian Universalism has informed your work as a teacher? It has a complete dramatic effect on my experience as a teacher. Um, we believe that we're all connected, that we all share um, this world and we are entitled to, um, to, to benefit from it. And the intrinsic worth of every student is something that I live in my classroom. I see. 
And what would you say to Unitarian Universalist parents, Unitarian Universalist teachers, and religious education programs about what you see the future of education being, and religious education in particular, perhaps? Times are changing really quickly. Uh, 21st century is bringing us a whole array of new technologies which are affecting our daily life. We have to remember to slow down as well in this very fast-paced world and take a moment to think and to meditate on the beauty of our children, but not just our children, everyone's children. So I would say that's important for our Unitarian um, congregations to remember that we love and cherish our children, but all children are our children as well. So the web gets bigger. The, the web gets bigger. The web, uh, the interconnected web, the seamless web that we're, we share is now manifesting itself palpably in the technology of our day. And we are fortunate to be living at this time. It's very exciting. Indeed. Well, congratulations Thank again, Thank you so Mary much. Ann. I'm so happy to and talk to you. And we're out of you. time for now, but uh, we'll look forward to hearing more I about your work. I hope to talk work. to you more. Thanks. Thank you.